it's about 6 30 Saturday the 12th of March and uh, we're gonna get some weather today let's hope we get out before the rain starts we're resisting now 35 degrees got a good wind blowing <coughs> <coughs> Ground is soft. So some icy spots you can see. Today, uh, the Stoneville Club has got its pot roast dinner. We uh, we do these things to raise funds to keep the club going. God knows we're going to need it with the price of diesel. The, uh, the tractor has an 89 gallon fuel tank and if Kevin goes up to uh, the northern end of what we grew him up in Drew, Drew Plantation, uh, he's got less than half a tank back left so he's got to fill up a, a auxiliary tank in the, his truck and have somebody drive it up there and fill the, the groomer back up so we can make the trip back. So just round it up to 90 gallons at about a thousand gallons, that's 450 bucks. <coughs> the groom one half of what we groom. We, we groom 120 miles of trails. And uh, I guess that's the one town up there. So it's going to be tough. Fuel bill is going to be more than double. I think they spent, could be wrong, I think it was $3,000 last year. So probably be $7,000 next season. We get a grant from the state that comes from uh, Stoneville Registrations. Everybody who registers a sled, the money goes to and each club applies for a grant from the state detailing what you uh, maintain, number of hours you put in grooming, and uh, the amount of money you're requesting on the grant. And the state comes back and says, well, that's nice, but we'll give you this, which is always less. <clears throat> so, I'm sure the state is going to probably increase the registration fees, which is going to drive the out-of-staters away. Who wants to, uh, who wants to drive for 10 hours, 12, 15 hours? weekend and have to pay $200 to register your sled, each sled. So if you got four sleds, that's, a, that's 200 bucks in just registrations. And that's just a, a guesstimate. Uh, I know the state put a major hurting on out-of-staters coming in for ATVs. And the ATV registrations are a couple of days. It's not for the season, I think. Come on, buddy. <coughs> he found the scent he wants to stay and look at. Smell. You can see the uh, the frost is starting to. Uh, to melt in the ground because we're getting separation of the ground. So you're gonna have to start having washouts, not washouts, but uh, what do they call them? And the ground caves in. Sinkholes.
we usually have coyotes down the end of the, uh, the trail here. That's where we see the most on the, on the game cameras. I, heard, I think yesterday I mentioned on the video that I hadn't heard a coyote in a while, but did it the other this morning. I haven't seen anything down there, but they're close. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's why you always have a, uh, a firearm with you up here. There's a contest at the uh, local store. You uh, you shoot you the coyotes, shoot or trap coyotes and take them in there and have them weighed or have them counted. This guy has to reform it. <clears throat> Open season on cows, even while you hunt cows at night. <clears throat> Strange, we got some crunchy ice there. The ground must be cold. It was 35 degrees, although well, there is some fresh ice here. There's also plenty of mud. Well, I bought a uh, replacement carburetor for the John Deere yesterday. Couldn't pass it up. It was 16.75 for the carburetor plus tax. It's always got to jam you up on tax. <clears throat> Even tax newspapers, which is ridiculous. muffin for breakfast yesterday. It was delicious. Need to put more apples in them though because they melt. And uh, this morning I'm going to have blueberry. <coughs> if we go to the uh, pot roast dinner tonight, we'll buy uh, milk at the uh, Smith's General Store rather than driving it to Lincoln. We'll save driving it to Lincoln for Really need a lot of supplies. We don't need to burn gas at five dollars a gallon or more for diesel. If you burned two gallons of diesel, that's ten bucks. So if a gallon of milk is four dollars here versus two sixty-nine in Hannaford, it's a no-brainer. You lost. Eight dollars by driving in to save a dollar fifty or whatever the hell it was. <coughs> it's a cow. And there's a cow. Vehicle drives by, she screams out. Moo! Moo! Oh, that was a turkey. Yep, the turkeys are in there. Boy, the feces and urine in there must be horrendous. <clears throat> She's been locked in there for over a month. <clears throat> I 
I don't hear the coyotes, which worries me. My <clears throat> friend Howard from New Jersey, he's from way down South Jersey. He uh, has a camp over on Farrell Lake. He hunts coyotes up here and in New Jersey, but in Jersey, the property he's been hunting on, they, somebody else bought it and posted it. Now he can't hunt down there. <clears throat> and uh, up here, he's got a Toyota Tacoma, and the license plate on it is a custom license plate, coyote, or coyote, or whatever it is. Uh, we're gonna get rain. A couple inches of rain, well, inch, inch at least. It's open between an inch and inch. Yeah, we're heavy, heavy wet snow. Right on the line where they uh, they're protecting either two to six inches of snow or just a coating to two inches. Always right on the line. <clears throat> the locals refer to uh, Carroll. You go up to the hills of Carroll because there are a couple of big hills. And if you're driving along Route 6, as you go up some of the hills, you get to the top of the hills, it's all frozen. Ice in the trees or snow, and you get down out of the hills, it's not frozen like that. So this is a good elevation. As you can hear, I'm not wearing the spike shoes because it's all mud now. There's no need for spike shoes. Somebody did a, uh, a turnaround here. The, uh, the dirt on the mound helps melt it from the sun. <coughs> Soon we'll be getting uh, turkey tracks in the, in the mud here. That's a big car. Um, yesterday, uh, Thursday was garbage tape for Prentice over here, so that's a uh, garbage truck. I can feel the mud building up in the, the bottoms of the shoe here. <coughs> the treads of the shoe. Yep, muddy, muddy. And even flood is sinking in. <coughs> Eli up the road here. 
gets those eels that they export to Japan and uh, I don't know how many gets but uh, he's talking about buying a, a tractor with the proceeds of what he gets I don't know what kind of tractor he's talking about but he said he had he also has a good eel season so he can buy a tractor At $1,800 a pound, I guess you could buy a small tractor. 1836.54. I guess four pounds. You can buy a $7,200 tractor. <coughs> Not that that's very big, but I don't know what he wants to do with it. Lynn did the automatic turnaround. I didn't tell him, let's go home. So he's following the scent. <clears throat> this property had been up for sale for a long time. And the uh, for sale sign came down. It was three rivers. Eli had a friend who wanted to buy, buy some property for a hunting camp. I tried contacting uh, the uh, real estate agent, but they never responded. I guess if they're not representing the property, they, they don't want to help out at all. <coughs> This is not even real mud. This is this is just surface mud. Wait till the uh, wait till mud season kicks in and you sink down. I sunk down one time where the inside of the wheel had so much mud in it that it was throwing the uh, the tires off balance. I had to get out and scrape the mud out. So we try and not drive too much in mud season. Or if we do drive, we drive from our driveway up north into Prentice because Prentice has got paved roads. I didn't put my uh, heated gloves on this morning because it was misting. I don't want to get them wet. So my fingers are starting to get cold. 35 is warm, but still cold. <clears throat> and Flynn is smelling everything this morning, so he's distracted. And he's muddy. Come on, Flynn. Come on. Let's go. Take a snow bath or something. Uh, yeah, it must be less than 35 up here. Well, the calibration on my weather station might be off a little bit. The weather station is easily 12, 13, 14 years old. Got it back in, in Jersey. <clears throat> Weather on the ground. Brother Tom used to have a Weather on the ground. K M E R E E D 2, I think it was. But we feed.
feed information from his weather station up. Some of the uh, devices have stopped working. We just have not replaced them because I'm up here now. There's no need to have two weather stations within a mile of each other. My glasses are starting to uh, get some mist accumulation on them. I'm sure the lens is probably too. Let me, let me wipe that off. <coughs> Len, come on, bud. It's a rock. Oh, boy. So, uh, I was also looking at a, uh, a fuel pump for the gear. But when I pulled up fuel pumps, so many different, so different cans came up, different fuel pumps came up that I uh, wasn't sure which one. So you can see the water's running on the ground and rolling on the side of the road. <clears throat> so I didn't know which which fuel pump I would need, so I have to get out to the barn, open up the tilt bed. Try and get a uh, part number off of it because they're they're like less than twenty bucks. But why not have a spare fuel pump? Because it's not original, as far as I know, you can see the turkeys in there. The cow is lying down. <laughs> Walking him last night was tough. and the holes and that kind of crap. I don't think he's going to take care of business this morning. Then. Uh, the new battery's been holding up well. Here we go, pro. <coughs> Where previously it would be 17 minutes and it dropped down to 16 and 15 because they were old batteries. So I usually do two videos, charge it up. That's where I upload the video to, to YouTube. I format the secure digital car so I don't run that space. I made the mistake when the snowmobile club got there. The new to us groomer that we were leasing. I went down there filming with the drone. And I forgot to uh, to wipe out when I recorded on the secure digital card. Only well, to have it run out of space within the first minute of trying to record the uh, tractor getting the load unloaded from the low boy. <coughs> Flynn, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing this morning? Flynn, what are you doing? You're not doing anything this morning, are you? You're gonna wait till it's pouring out to make me walk out in the rain. In the house. In the house.
house again. Jethro Tull, I think his original first album, first hit album, had a uh, song called Aqualung. Uh, part of the, uh, the lyrics was, it's not as running down his nose. And that's, uh, that's the case this morning. I'm sure I hear guys. Muting the microphone. <laughs> they had the drone up a couple times yesterday, twice. The batteries were low, I don't know why. The second time I charged them up, did a uh, Facebook Live session with it. I think it was 18 minutes long. Or even I don't know. We were in to talk about it. <coughs> so. down in this driveway over there somewhere. So he had me do a, uh, send a friend request to his wife because he doesn't do Facebook anymore. Uh, so he sent a friend request to Anna this morning and uh, so he could view the, uh, the video, the Facebook Live video. I'm surprised there was only one interruption in the video. Normally it breaks up a lot, but uh, I had hooked up directly to the uh, Starlink Wi-Fi rather than going through my my Asus router Wi-Fi. And I think uh, going direct rather than through two routers got me better throughput, more reliability. <coughs> and hopefully, we'll the snow over here. Get some of the dirt off of Flynn and me. Flynn, it's time to go in the house. Two years ago, there was always a uh, partridge in this tree. Every time we walked by, we'd scare it out of there. I don't want to get upset. The, the left wing liberals upset that I'm misgendering a partridge. Fucking lead towards. Uh. Oh. I almost ripped my shoe off as it went through the snow. went down. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Walked right into the uh, branch of the apple tree. Right there. I was looking down at the ground, so I don't trip. I was gonna hit in the face of the apple, apple tree branch. Oi! That's, uh, that's the ice down there. I watch where I'm walking. Well, so ends today's video. Right, fun? We didn't take care of business, we're gonna have to do it again later. Don't shake your head though. <clears throat> There's the weather station and uh, home booster. That's the uh, temperature gauge and Anim animon anometer wind measures wind and direction. Then in the house, let's go. Uh, on the uh, side of the generator house is the, the rain bucket over there. Uh, so that's it for today. Try to do it again tomorrow if the weather permits. All right.